The rules and styles of ballots vary by county. I'm using one from the Ada County Clerk's Office, but there are some important basics that will apply to all counties in Idaho, and the instructions are easy to follow. We're basically just going to cover those and follow directions. After you open your ballot, find the right pen. The Ada County Elections Office says a blue or black ink pen, no pencils, markers, or crayons. Using your blue or black pen, you can write in a candidate, but don't randomly mark up your ballot. Follow the instructions. For example, Ada County ballots have you fill in a rectangle completely. Some ballots have ovals or arrows. Only vote for the appropriate number of candidates in each race on the ballot. If you make a mistake, contact your county clerk and see what can be done. After you're done with your ballot, fold and insert it into the yellow security sleeve. Only one voter's ballot is permitted in each official return envelope. Seal the ballot in the pre-addressed envelope provided. This envelope does not require additional postage. Sign your name on the line provided on the back of the pre-addressed return envelope and include the date if it asks for it. Mail or hand deliver it to your county clerk's election office. You can track your ballot by going to idahovotes.gov. That way, you can confirm your ballot was successfully counted. You have to request an absentee ballot by October 23rd in order to receive one. If you received an absentee ballot but decide you want to vote in person, bring your absentee ballot with you to the polls. It's not required, but it helps the process of issuing you a new ballot. Election Day is Tuesday, November 3rd. Visit WeVoteIdaho.org for more information on all the ways you can vote in the 2020 general election.